Hey everyone, we've got a treat for you today, an O.C. Bear Jefferson guitar. These are wonderful hand-built guitars by Clint Bear out of Madison, Indiana. Take a listen, leave a like, and subscribe to our videos to check out some great guitars. Hey everyone, this is Brian Black, and today uh, I am bringing you an OC Bear Jefferson model, a fantastic hand-built acoustic guitar that I'll share a little bit more with you in a minute about. But uh, I want to invite you today to hit like if you like this video and subscribe to my other videos. You can check out some of the guitars that I've reviewed, and uh, I know uh, this all started for me as a way to kind of document guitars. So there's so many guitars that I've picked up over the years that I wish I still had some clips of. And I know that as a guitar player, one of the things that I love is to be able to go online and find clips of something that I'm interested in, especially when it's something a little more rare, so that I get an idea for what it sounds like, what it feels like, and get another player's opinion. So that's what these videos are about. And today, like I say, I want to invite you to subscribe and hit like, and uh, definitely leave some feedback, leave some comments about it. Uh, I'll tell you, I am not a fantastic player. I've been playing a long time and been blessed to play a lot of good gigs, but uh, at the same time, you know, it's not about critiquing my playing. We're getting an idea for, for the guitars themselves. But uh, speaking of unique and guitars that you're going to have a hard time finding clips of, that's what I've got here today. This is an OC Bear, you can see the Bear on the headstock, uh, Jefferson model. And I'm going to give you some of the specs on this guitar and share a little bit about the maker with you from what I've done on my research. But this is a Jefferson model, uh, a small jumbo body size. Uh, you can see it's not terribly thick, but it's it's kind of a nice, you know, good body size. It's got some nice low end on it uh, with that. Um, it's got a pillow top red cedar top, uh, and it's got East Indian rosewood back and sides. Uh, one of the neat things about the sides you'll see is there is a sound hole at the top so that you actually have a nice monitor for when you're playing. These are designed as a finger style guitar. Uh, I'm not much of a finger style player, as you heard in the intro. But at the same time, uh, you know, it's great for that. But also you can just strum this guitar if you're a strummer like me. I would recommend, you know, putting a pick guard or something. This one has some dings where someone has uh, strummed it before I got hold of it. But uh, it didn't go through the finish. But just, you know, red cedar is typically a pretty soft wood, so that'll happen to it. Um, that being said, the bracing is a scalloped red spruce. Uh, it has a double abalone rings. Um, which you can see right here and here, and then Coca Bolo is that nice big rosette that you see. So it's beautiful. Uh, a little bit of discoloration on this one, but again, this was a guitar built in 2007. I'm picking it up in 2020, so 13 years of age on it. Um, the purfling is yellow heart and rosewood. Uh, you'll see some beautiful, uh, beautiful work just up and down the neck here, um, and also, you know, like I say, the purfling here. Uh, the neck is a mahogany rosewood. Uh, the nut and the uh, uh, the, uh, the bridge are bone, which uh, you know is definitely great for the tone. Um, and then the headstock is ebony, and the headstock's beautiful. You can see the bear logo, but there's also a beautifully ornate inlay of coca bolo with some abalone, like paisleys and leaves, so to speak, on the vine. It works its way all the way down the guitar neck, and it's just a gorgeous piece of work. And from what I've read, Mr. Bear, Clint Bear, who builds these. Um, apparently he has some background in, in jewelry, uh, some of his family had, so uh, he learned how to do some of that really uh, nice detailed work and you can see it on this side sound hole as well, uh, it's just beautiful work. Um, the, the tuners, they are gold gotos with uh, black buttons and it just really sets off nice against that ebony fret or uh, headstock. 
Um, the scale length is 25.7 inches, and from what I understand, a lot of people like this particular guitar for like dad gad and drop tuning because it that scale length I guess is good for for the tone and the, and the tuning on that. 14 frets to the body, uh, one and three quarter inch wide at the nut, and the width at the bridge. Um, down here, uh, you're, you're looking at, where's that? Width of the bridge, two and a quarter inches. Um, so the bridge is ebony also with abalone inlays, you can see on the top and bottom. Um, and again, you know, this thing is just a fantastic sounding guitar. Uh, this one after Mr. Baird had finished it, so one of the uh, previous owners to me had put a K and K pure mini in it. If you've ever played one of those, for the money, you can't beat that pickup. 99 bucks for the pickup and whatever it costs to have it installed or you may do it yourself, but uh, they're great sounding pickups. So, uh, you know, I would definitely recommend those. So when I was picking this guitar up, I knew it was mainly a finger style guitarist's guitar. But I'm a guy who's typically using a pick. So someone else was a strummer on this one and that's okay. You know, uh, this guitar is 13 years old. And the reason it's got strum marks is because somebody played it because it sounded really good. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm gonna strum it a little bit and let you get a feel for what that sounds like. just a really fantastic sounding guitar. Um, what I like about it is it's got a nice bottom end, but it's also got a shimmery top end that just comes out, which makes it really nice for the finger style. Um, again, just a really nice, uh, clear clarity. Every note rings out. It's what you want on an acoustic, and it's just built really solid, uh, and it's beautiful. You know, so it's, it's kind of like the trifecta. It's got tone, playability, and looks, um, and you know, with the K and K, uh, it's, it's very useful in a live setting as well. So now, um, a little bit of information. Uh, these guitars are built in Madison, Indiana by Clint Bear the Luthier. And uh, from what I understand, Mr. Bear is uh, not making many guitars anymore these days. Um, not out of a, a demand issue, because a lot of people still want these, but I was lucky enough to find a, a great deal on this one. Um, and uh, that being said, they aren't cheap. You know, anytime you deal with a handmade guitar, you're looking at a high-end instrument uh, if it's done right. And this is definitely done right. I mean, it's just a, 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 a piece of art, really. Um, it's, it's also a fantastic thing to play. But with that being said, uh, the appointments on this guitar, I've been told that it would be about $6,000 to order one of these from Mr. Bear. And uh, I can't tell you if that's you know absolutely the right price or maybe it's gone up, maybe it's gone down. But again, this was built in 2007, commissioned by somebody. I don't know why they'd ever let it go because it's fantastic. You know, Maybe they had money issues, I don't know. But I'm glad that I get to be the caretaker of this guitar now. And, uh, you know, like I say, I wanted to play it for you guys, get a chance to hear something that you don't see every day. If one pops up, check it out. Don't pass up on it. Uh, you definitely want to take a look at it and, you know, uh, see if it's something that you can add to your collection because this is just, you know, in terms of, you know, uh, guitars, uh, my acoustics, I'm kind of picky. You know, I find what I like and I stick with it. Uh, I've been playing a McPherson 5.0 uh, for a number of years now, and it's just the perfect guitar for me, to be honest with you. Uh, I've got a nice Martin OMJM as well as a Gibson Hummingbird, but this is just another flavor in that arsenal. It's got more of the jumbo style feel. It's not quite as big as a Gibson jumbo, and it's got the cutaway, which is nice if you're playing lead lines. Um, but, uh, you know, all that said, uh, all that said, it's, it's a great guitar for finger style players, but it's also something, you know, as a strummer, worship leader like I do, 
it's great for that as well. Uh, I took it to a rehearsal already and, and it just it worked great for the set that we were working on. So I can't recommend it highly enough. Um, by all means, if you get a chance to play one, take that opportunity because it is an absolutely uh, wonderful guitar from Clint Bear, OC Bear Guitars, the Jefferson model. And I uh, hope you dig it and hope you enjoyed checking it out. And uh, like I say, like the channel, uh, or like the video and subscribe to the channel and check out my gear reviews. Thanks so much.